Okay, I'm with Michael Dent. I'm a structural engineer working for Dornacamp on this uh, dry dock project in Kingston. And the, uh, the coffer dam is uh, about 60 feet long and 24 feet high. That's a 24 feet possible depth of water. It has a variable thickness face plate uh, in eight foot wide panels and four big trusses uh, running horizontally. Three trusses are identical and the top truss is a little bit lighter in fabrication. All steel, all welded, um, and then bolted to the structure on three sides are some uh, uh, rubber gaskets and the thing uh, operates like a fridge door, it touches on three sides and the pressure of water will uh, be enough. We hope to make the main seal and there may be uh, a couple of things we don't know about cracks in the abutments but we'll, we'll see that when the water gets pumped down. Right. What is the, um, the membrane made out of that actually takes the weight of the water? Uh, the main face is just steel and it's seal welded. Um, seal welded in panels and then the panels bolt together. They're 8 foot wide and 24 foot high bolted together with the gaskets in between them so that's that's the easy part the less easy part is what happens at the sides because we don't know how true the abutments are that we're that we're uh, wrapping into right what, what would be the total weight weighs 32 imperial tons right i like the word imperial there you do okay, good. <laughs> And how long did it take to uh, figure out what, what it is you're going to do? Um, it just took a couple of afternoons and a sleepless night to, to know uh, the sense of what we're going to do. Patch Associates had a um, uh, schematic drawing of what they thought would happen. And we have to do various things like uh, we have some drain holes in the members because when the thing is vertical we don't want it to hold water in the, in the trough of the, of the beams. And we don't have any hollow members because if we did we could have water inside them which is eventually going to freeze thaw and could burst the members. So everything is uh, uh, open to the air and, um, and the, the other uh, feature it, all over the, the members have been increased in size by a millimeter all over which is a millimeter for future corrosion protection uh, the dam design life is 50 years um, although I, I wouldn't be surprised it lasted a lot longer but 50 years design life during which time theoretically um, the rusting and corrosion could take off a millimeter skin on the members so you lose your strength wow. um, so you had, did you have an aha, uh, an aha ha moment, or did you think you would replicate the current case on when you first started out? Um, I, I've seen structures like this before. We've done some work. Um, I've, I have an office in Pembroke. We've done a little bit of work for EB Eddy and some of the dams up for uh, OPG. Right. And, and if we haven't designed them, then we've worked for the fabricator who has been fabricating and pricing them and uh, right. fitting together. So. Uh, well, we know it's going to work. It's just, um, we have that confidence in it. Okay, so the, so the conceptual framework for this particular caisson uh, doesn't come from the marine industry. It comes from the dam. <laughs> yeah. How do I say that? Uh, from <laughs> the, the industry that deals with dams. Yes. Um, yeah. And we've seen temporary works and gates that E.B. Eddy has and the likes yeah. of them in the mills. Uh, the feature about the mills is that the acid from the paper uh, rots the steel and it corrodes very, very quickly. So, uh, you know, you might get a 10-year life out of one of those and we, we kind of see them every now and then and replace them. That's good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs>
We got the divers down underneath today. They got the divers down yeah. there. Yeah. On this side of it. No, on the inside of it. Yeah, on the inside of the gate, there's the divers. Making sure everything slides down smoothly. They can't be on the outside of the gate because if it does let go, it's falling out. That's right, towards the lake. They're safe on the inside. Once you get hung up on it. Well, even if. What, you mean if they get hung up on it? Yeah, they, they do pretty screwed down. <laughs> so hopefully they can keep out of the way, but... I'm not going in to get up the people. 